Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Mia K if you're new here. Before we get any further into the video, let's give Midlife RT a big shout out. This is a brand that I created geared towards people in the medical field. Um, all medical field merch is going to be on there and breast cancer awareness shirts are on there as well. Shop your merch. Link in Brad Tech Survival Guide. Y'all, the semester is coming up. Let's go ahead and get into how we're going to survive through these courses. So the number one thing in order to be successful, especially in radiology school, which I know that everyone should know, is to read. <laughs> That's something that nobody likes doing because in undergrad, everybody's like, oh, you got to read, you got to read. And I ain't never read a book and I got a whole degree. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to read in radiology school because I didn't have to do it in undergrad. So why should I have to do it here? You need to read. Coming from a person who don't like to read at all. So y'all, when I say, you can see like the little tabs and everything I have. Um, So in my radiology program, we use Bond Tracker. I know a lot of schools, some schools use Bond Tracker, some schools use Merrill's. But, um, which, and I would say, um, honestly, read it beforehand. I highlight in my book, like some important stuff, um, especially like the eval criteria for like different um exams so like for your hand your basic procedures on tracker they have how your marker placement should be most of the marker placement be wrong in here so do not take these images seriously but <laughs> but they have like the markers placement the cr um they also have the radiograph so you can see how they look and they also have the eval criteria this like bond tracker baby bond tracker you definitely gonna need both of those like for sure and this one this is my imaging book this is for radiographic physics and in this book y'all i tore this book up and i say what like of the circuit like i have sticky notes of the stuff in the circuit of a whole page of sticky notes going over concepts or different things i had questions on or just trying to make sure i remember so y'all read your books and if your professor hopefully your professor upload like the syllabus and everything beforehand so you can have a look and you can actually like see what's going on but definitely read your book and ahead of time um another thing i definitely recommend is having a planner um i know in undergrad i didn't use a planner as well even in college any, even in high school i didn't use a planner i just like oh i remember it but um definitely use a planner because it's so many due dates y'all and you don't want to get confused and so for me personally this past semester past semester um one of my professors had called me in the office hey like hey like what's going on it's like are you okay and i said yeah i'm okay are you okay because <laughs> i'm i'm confused why we why we questioning me and she was like oh you didn't turn in a quiz and that's not like you and i was like what quiz and she said the quiz that was due sunday i said we didn't have a quiz due sunday she said yes you did <laughs> i said no we didn't so plan, write everything out on your planner check your due dates like we have stuff due on saturday and sunday so the day before friday before you go out before you do whatever check to see what's going on so you know that you prepare because you do not want to be like your fellow your fellow whoever i am to you you don't want to be like me <laughs> in this in this scenario i recommend is having a positive attitude um people don't understand that having a positive attitude really changed the trajectory of different things and you do not want to be that person y'all i hope none of my viewers is like this and if you are try some adjustments might might be beneficial but <laughs> I do not like it. It's the day of the exam. Everybody already stressed. Somebody coming. Oh, I'm gonna fail this exam. I just know I'm gonna fail. I just. Uh, I don't really care. Like, yeah, I'm gonna drop out. Whatever. Blah blah. Shut up. Shut up. You have other people out here that's stressing, and for you to say stuff like that is just like stupid. And then the people that say the stuff like that be the ones that be making A's. So it's like, what do y'all want to do? Like, do that stroke your ego? Like, I'm really confused on why y'all be like that. Like, yeah, like, man, this is so hard. Like, yeah, I probably failed. Oh, what you get? Oh, 98. 
excuse me and you were just up in the hallway huffing and puffing something like you ain't study and you feel like you're gonna fail and then you make a 98 seems like somebody lying to me because i study and i ain't make a 98 so do not be that people do not be that person and so please try to have a positive mindset i am that person for my cohort like i'm like we are not gonna get nothing out of this by thinking negative think positive Okay, and I tell people, look, baby, you gonna be negative, get away from me. I remove myself because all I need is positive energy, <laughs> positive vibes. Yeah, I use my iPad for literally everything, um, especially school-wise. Two my things I definitely want to show you that really, really helps. The first one is Rad Tech Bootcamp or Clover Learning. Clover Learning is really, really Rad Tech Bootcamp, whatever you want to call it, is really, really helpful. Radiographic image production, fundamental of digital radiography, radiography positioning, and it's literally the whole Rad Tech program is literally in here. So beneficial. I love this. Um, now it's not free. <laughs> I do want to tell y'all it's not free. It's forty dollars a month, so it's not. But I know in my program, once I hit the semester before I graduate, though, it's included in my tuition. It's been helping me along the way. I didn't really use it last semester. I should never pay for last month, but you know it's whatever. And so you will click on it, and it have like a little video. There's a difference between a position and, and so a she'll have like a video and for this one it's positioning so she'll show you like how to position the pace the patient she also show you like the marker placement and everything like that and then once you done watching the video it gives you an option to take the quiz and then you will take the quiz and then you just answer those questions and then it'll let you know how many you got right. This is because I'm about to start clinicals. That's all another video. But anyway, I'm about to start clinicals. So this will be a great refresher. Uh, it's going to be very, very helpful. Another tool that I use that's helpful um, is called X-ray X-ray Anatomy. And it is this one right here. And so it have like literally every radiograph and then you're able to actually like view it and everything. So for this one, this is an ankle and it have like little dots on it. And once you click the dots, you what it is. Like that's a talus. So that's like medial mariolus. For you the joint spaces as well. Um, and I do this whenever I'm in bed and I don't feel like studying, but I know I need to know like, what my joints is what my bones is like i literally just sit in the bed on my phone or on my ipad just like going through these and like and they even have it where you can quiz yourself as well like quiz yourself and then it tells you if it's right or wrong you can find it on um the apple store they have similar ones like this that's like more like skeletal and organs but that's definitely helpful as well um, the app that I use to take all my notes in is going to be Good Notes of Good Notes. So this is what I use. I write things in here, highlight things. Um, this is what I use whenever I'm in class. Also, you can press the little record button at the top. And while your professor is like going over lecture, you can record it and then you can go back and rewrite it and redo all that. That's very helpful. Another thing why I like my iPad as well is that I can drag images from my PowerPoints and put it in a blank document and go over the anatomy like that. And so these are some examples like uh, the elbow, like I have that this is an AP elbow. I have it at the top. And then I have this is an AP oblique, lateral oblique elbow. And then it also have like the labels and stuff. Don't forget YouTube videos as well. Um, my YouTube videos have been helping a lot of people. I am glad. Now, if y'all want to see me do some x rays, a different anatomy, they are like, oh, that's kind of tricky let me know because literally youtube is going to be your best friend and if i can link the youtube videos that i use for like physics and stuff i can find them put them in the description box like y'all it's people out here that literally talk nothing but radiology sometimes that's going to be your best friend because some professors just be making it a little confusing unfortunately but you can it's always helpful tools out there YouTube is gonna be your best friend. TikTok is gonna be your best friend. 
Yanni helped. Remember the carpet bone? Just remember Sally left the party to take Carol home. Just remember that and you good. <laughs> so it's like different stuff like that to help you remember your anatomy. And then just make study groups, y'all. Like study groups are so imperative. And study groups is like you get different people perspective and y'all able to learn and just help each other. This video was helpful for y'all. And y'all was able to get some good pointers for your survival guide for radiology school i'm so proud of you guys if you even are thinking about applying or if you in the program out of you congratulations you making the best decision you making a big step but thank you guys so much for watching and i got a big announcement so make sure you tune into my next video <laughs> bye y'all <laughs>